There you go. Well, folks, we're back. Um, it looks like this is going to be a three-part video. Uh, I'm so sorry. It looks like as soon as we start driving, we lo either lose connection, we lose the video. Um, I was talking about the quality of the Chevrolet Corvette from 50 years ago. Um, we're here. We made it back. So it drives and runs fantastically. Um, you know, way back when there was no Toyotas or Subarus uh, or Nissans. There were Chevrolets and there was Pontiacs and there was Chryslers, as I was saying before the video ran out. Um, so uh, car companies had plenty of money to spend on their Halo vehicle. And the Halo vehicle for Chevrolet was always the Corvette, still is. Um, so as far as the quality is concerned, it shouldn't be a surprise. Um, if, we, if we jumped into a, a wormhole right now, went 50 years in the future, uh, would the current Corvette still be on the road uh, as far as, as a quality vehicle like this one is? Um, I'm going to say yes. Uh, my belief is that yes. Um, they are plenty of money. It's not like they're inexpensive. Um, they're made with pride. Um, so, hey, Corvettes are just fantastic. They were great 50 years ago. They're going to be great 50 years in the future. Um, ours performed flawlessly. Uh, again, I apologize that we didn't get much driving video in there. Um, here it is. <laughs> it's outside the garage. Um, we enjoyed the drive. We, we kept talking. Once again, we didn't realize that the video was off. Um, so, I mean, we, you guys don't need any further proof to the fact that we are absolutely, totally amateurs. Um, but the bottom line is, it's about the cars. Um, it was about the Z06s in the other videos. It's about this one in this video. Um, driving seems to be a bit of a challenge for us, but uh, you know what? Eventually we'll figure it out and we'll try again. But here is our car. Uh, we can take a walk around it. Um, a little bit of a 360. I'll walk with you. Um, we didn't take the back window out today because even though it's sunny, it's still a little chilly, uh, but we do have our T-tops off. Um, and like I mentioned, everything is completely functional on this vehicle. Uh, you know, as far as a, a vehicle from 50 years ago, I can only imagine what it must cost as far as research and development to actually have a unit on a vehicle that actually lifts up and hides the headlight, uh, hides the uh, windshield wipers. Nowadays, all the windshield wipers on vehicles are completely exposed, and I suppose it's for safety reasons. If this door doesn't open, we don't have windshield wipers. But the fact that this car 50 years ago had a mechanism that opened up and your windshield wipers are hidden, it makes it so clean and even. Um, I just totally dig the fact that, uh, you know, the, the headlights were hide away. I know I talked about everything being hidden away in one of our other videos. I mean, one thing I didn't mention, which I'm going to mention uh, right now is even the door locks okay most vehicles have those goofy ass door locks that pop up over here not the Corvette folks the Corvette has a little twist of a knob right here and that's how you lock your door nothing pops up nothing stupid just a twist of a knob like that and you lock your door and unlock your door um, if it's uh, locked up and locked up tight you just use the key to pop open the door um, but just cool stuff a lot of cool innovation and uh, you know I can't say enough about Chevrolet vehicles from way back when, you know, even the, the other the other models from that lineup from 1970, the Monte Carlo, the Chevelle, the Malibu, even the Corvair, they were all hot, all two-door hot-looking cars. You are able to get them with big motors. What's a two-door car now? As far as Chevrolet is concerned, we got the Camaro and we got the Corvette. As far as Ford, the Blue Oval is concerned, God, they used to have everything, Galaxy 500, Sega Mustangs, everything. Now all well, there is is the Mustang. So um, I, I hate to sound like a downer, but once upon a time, uh, two-door coupes were the hot thing. Everyone wanted personal luxury cars like the Monte Carlo or sports cars like the Corvette. Folks, times have changed. Um, coupes, two-door cars. If you want a coupe, you probably have to get a BMW or maybe a Mercedes. As far as American-made cars are concerned, uh, as far as a coupe is, you can get the Challenger, you can get a Mustang, you can get a Vet, and uh, you can get a Camaro. So. Not that I'm complaining about it, because those are all awesome cars. Um, but the day of the coupe uh, has come and gone. And uh, I'm glad I got this one. Uh, it's been good to me. I've had it for close to 15 years. I love it. It's handsome. Um, now you could probably see a lot of the flaws because it's sunny out. Um, I cracked the fender there. I backed up into a pole. You could look over here and see if the paint is uh, just flaking off the, uh, the gas cap. Anything that's metal, like these vents over here, the paint is just flaking off. Um, there's all kinds of spider webbing. Uh, I wrote dirty here. <laughs> you know, the car is filthy dirty. It just sat in the garage. And, uh, you know, it's always kind of interesting when I pull this car out of the garage because there's always something dead underneath it. 
Uh, today, when I pulled the car out of the garage, there was a dead lizard, there was a dead frog, and there was one of those gypsy moths, <laughs> a big one, it's about the size of a breakfast sausage, all dead underneath the car. But over the years, there's been other dead things under there. We've had plenty of mice. God knows, whenever I pull this car out, there's something dead under it. So that's just a little stupid, goofy aside there. Um, I'm going to let you guys go now. I know I've been babbling, and I know this video was supposed to be about me driving this car. Uh, I think we did get it out of the driveway <laughs> before the video stopped. I just want to thank you guys for watching my videos. Um, I know some of them are goofy. I know they're amateurish. I know they cut out. Um, but again, I want to thank you. Um, happy motoring. Enjoy your plastic fantastic. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.